Welcome to RMD All Things Aesthetics and Wellness podcast with me, your host, Dr. Deborah Jers, and my co-host, who's over across the room. Hey, guys. This is Verde Golombieski, nurse practitioner here at Revitalize MD, and today we have a fun podcast. Yes, we have some special guests and lots of information, packed with information. So Jennifer Labus and Kim Betts are with Hotworks here in Knoxville. And we just learned all kinds of stuff about the benefits of infrared. We already knew the benefits, but I didn't realize that I could work out in it. And it was right here in town. And so we're loving it. No. So they're going to talk to us all about hot works, tell us a little bit about themselves, and we'll deep dive into all the benefits of infrared sauna use. I know. And we love detox and health benefits of this. So. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you. Well, we can start anywhere. So, like, I think even just talking a little bit about hot works first, and and give them a little information, and we'll deep dive into infrared. So, hot works um, is today is actually hot works' sixth birthday. Ooh, happy birthday! Yes, dear. Yeah. So, it's it's a fairly new concept. Six years is not super old, but it has been around for a little bit. Um, infrared is obviously, you know, it's been around forever. The benefits of that are amazing and the creator um steven smith of hotworks was it just kind of was like a brainchild where he just was thinking infrared is amazing and um, he owned the planet beaches i don't know if you guys are familiar with any of those but mm-hmm. planet beach is another spa type thing so he started thinking we know infrared we know we like spas we know we, the benefits of exercise what if you could exercise in an infrared thing and so he's created he created a nine by twelve sauna cedar sauna Um, It fits up to three people and it has infrared heaters. So the infrared penetrates into your body as you're doing virtually instructed workouts and you would get more workout with less time. It's basically what we, we are tagline. We're saying, yeah, who doesn't want that? He can make more work now, less to quarters. Yeah, I know. Well, and I'll even say like, so way back I had, cause I love hot, like I, I've loved hot yoga for probably a decade now. And so when I first saw the concept of hot works, had reached out and I think just through mm-hmm. you had been in conversations with um, with somebody with hot works here and then COVID hit and, you know, there were lots of changes for everyone, you know, and so it just didn't happen right away. But when I talked to him and I found out it was 24 hours and infrared mm-hmm. and I was already in love with, you know, the heat and yoga, mm-hmm. it was a no brainer for me because now... And I already rent the room sometimes for yeah, yoga. Anyone that knows yeah. Dr. Durst or has done any workout class with her knows she just does her own thing. I'll just buy a thing in the back of the room and everybody, and you know, again, the yoga instructors were always great. But my point was, you know, sometimes you're failing it, sometimes you're not. You need to stretch somewhere they're not doing it. And so you're really just renting the heat, but it's not infrared. Yeah. And so the fact that you can add infrared, and we already knew all the benefits of infrared, I had one here at the house. And um, and so it was amazing. And 24 hours. Yeah. 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 So you can actually work it around your schedule, and that doesn't happen where you can do such a nice, clean facility with all the health benefits in a 2020. Yes. Well, that's really what we were trying to, you know, um, all of the bus were busy, right? We were working. We have kids. We're always doing stuff. And you don't have time to say, okay, I can be at the gym at 3, but if, my, if the instructor's not going to be there day what do I do or what if they call out sick and then I miss my workout um this is very tailored to each individual person and their schedule but if you're working nights or if you're working mornings or if you don't work at all but your kids are there and then they get you know you can do it anytime yeah I can go in schedule it and it's a brilliant idea so it's open 24 7 right yep. so Jen owns the hot works here her and her husband you guys have how many locations we have three um we're about to open a fourth down at ut at ut commons and then we're going to have a sith at farragut in middle farms um, right across from farragut high school that'll be those two things will happen by the end of this year and then we will open three more and we're not 100 percent sure where but right now we've got fountain city hardin valley Cedar Bluff, and then we'll have UT and Farragut. And um, we're just kind of trying to feel around where to go with the other three. So with Hot Works, you can work out at your like main location or you can work out at any of them. Mm-hmm. And then we were talking about this before the podcast that you can even do some stuff at home, mm-hmm. right? So you get that access even on your phone to do yeah. some workouts where if you have an infrared sauna at home, 
and you get to benefit there. And it's not just yoga. So you guys have multiple classes, right? Well, and that's the other thing, I think, is that you can go to the gym, you can do classes at the gym, but yes, you're definitely scheduled around the gym. But if you like yoga, then you're a different studio. If you want Orange Theory, you're, but you can do a blast. You don't have to go to a bicycle or turbo spin work time. Like you can basically do every different workout based on a time or which one you want to do yeah. and you just schedule it and they're available all the time. So when I was looking for yoga versus spin, you know, you look, there's multiple times each day for all of them, even each evening for all of them. So, um, I mean, I just think that the flexibility is just key for yeah. somebody not very heavy and the infrared. A lot of people don't realize that it's way beyond hot yoga. We have 11 different offerings of sessions. So 11 different workouts to choose from. So it's constantly rotating, um, yoga, Pilates, hot bar. Um, of course, we've got the hit workouts. So you've got your hot cycle, you've got your hot blast, which is a full body cardio, and you've got row as well. So the rowers are inside the saunas as well. So yeah. we have a lot. I didn't realize there was uh, rowing. Yeah. yeah. It's that one held on. Yeah. The hot yeah. under. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have a lot going on. And then you know the camp is a step up yoga. So like you can do warrior, which is yeah. longer than yeah. the usual. Yeah. So there's, yeah. there's lots of different. And again, you know what, Jen, I think Jen might have heard about me beforehand, but maybe not. But again, she was like, oh, well, you can just like Laker if you didn't want to. Or now. <laughs> yeah. They could just find Jen joining the benefit. Yeah. I'm at it for red. Do you, do you know me? Like, <laughs> no. That's <laughs> wait, I'm but Chastity, you want to be the only one. Yeah. Because you can go in and meditate. Like I like. I just love the heat, you know, so if I could be in the heat, I would go to the gym and work out and run and lift and then mainly just to get in the sauna after and it wasn't yeah. even infrared. So the benefits of the infrared way outweigh. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, the workout in and of itself is amazing. Um, like I said, it's virtual. It, you schedule on your time. All of that is, is great. But then you get the benefits of infrared, which is not just heat. It's an actual energy. And it penetrates into your skin up to an inch and a half, and it detoxes your organs from the inside out. So that is amazing while doing the workout, mm. plus what it does for your skin, plus what it does for, you know, cellulite, plus what it does for your health. If, I mean, if you don't want to work out, but you want to be healthy in cardiovascular or then you can just sit in it. If you just want to work out, you don't get, you can turn the temperature down a little bit. I mean, there's so many. Or the anti-aging collagen. Yeah, it yeah. helps build collagen. Yes. That's so amazing. this can actually bring us, this is a good segue into what is infrared. You know, just basically what's infrared. And even we have red light therapy in the office and just the difference between red light and infrared. Because I don't think people understand really what infrared is. Mm -hmm. And people think radiation, they think heat, mm -hmm. they think dangerous, and they need to know it's not. Or steam or wet and how yeah. it differs from sauna. Yeah. Do you want to touch base on that a little? So how I normally describe it to people is, you know, the infrared energy is focusing on objects. So when you go into a sauna, it's going to feel hot, obviously, but you're the object in that room. So it's penetrating at a cellular level. Um, and what that does is it does increase the detox, it boosts your metabolism, things like that. But in our saunas as well, um, they're 100% humidity free. So any kind of sweating that you're doing is coming from within, which is which is off that in the detox. You're detoxing exactly. So I always tell people like, picture yourself the object in the room, um, and that's what it's targeting. So okay. And then it is penetrating, so you have heat, you have increased metabolism, mm -hmm. you know, um, bladder, better cardiovascular health, mm -hmm. you know, again, skin benefits, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah. again, I always, I looked way back at the difference between um, red light therapy and infrared. And so if you think about the electromagnetic spectrum, again, visible light in, in red light therapy is in the visible spectrum, but infrared is beyond, yeah. so you don't actually see it's not to, it doesn't have to be red in the room right because it's heat and it's a radiation and, and so it penetrates deeper so my big under my big difference between red light therapy which we use all the time in the office and somebody else sit under it is it's not going that far in mm -hmm. and you can see it and has to be red it's in the visible um spectrum color spectrum and then when you go beyond that then you get into the infrared where it doesn't it's not visible so it's really that radiation and heat and it penetrates deeper. So now you get all the systemic 
yeah. and apps of it, not just super yeah. official. But you also get super official. Yes. So the nice yes. thing is with infrared, you get it all. Yes. With red light therapy, you just got the It's just yes. beauty and superficial on skin. With For prepping for this podcast, so I was looking, there's like near infrared, yes. there's mid, and there's far. So what do you guys utilize at Howard? And that is everything. Like near is just skin, mm-hmm. surface, more topical. Mm-hmm. That's mid's a little bit deeper inflammation, but then your far is your deep end, like we're talking about, detox. Right. Right. But it does everything before it too. So you're not just getting one aspect, you're getting all aspects of infrared. Is that accurate? Is that kind of how I took it in? Yes, that is accurate. And um, to speak to that too is like, yes, with the detox, but it also is amazing with people with inflammation. You know, we have people with rheumatoid arthritis who will come in and they're like, oh my gosh, it just, the, the lack, the way I feel and the inflammation that's not there on like I can move and I don't have these flare-ups and you know and they don't even necessarily do the exercises but they might roll or sit and it's amazing what it does for people from on all levels people are recovering from injuries a lot of people that have had surgeries knee surgeries um even ankle sprains things like that they'll come in and just sit and stretch in the saunas and it's like kind of like having the heating uh, like a, a heating pad but inside of you so if you think of the benefits of that well yeah it's also increasing blood flow yeah, it's vasodilating yeah. Yeah. and so that's one of the benefits and, and there's also studies to support that improvement in joint pain yes yeah. absolutely there is definitely studies out there that show that yes and yes. So it all makes sense yes. finland is a country that is like way advanced than us in all things sauna it seems because there are so many studies out of there mm-hmm. And they're looking at like Alzheimer's and the neurogenic benefits, as well as inflammation, recovery, the detox, the cardiovascular health. Yeah. And they have a very large study that we were talking about. So I was like, there's this big study of 2,300 men that they looked at over a 20 year period. Who looks at yeah. people that long that they stay involved in studies and actually are able to get data from? But most impressively, as you were saying, is that what was the reduction? You said there was a reduction in cardiovascular? 63% reduction if you were in the sauna four to seven times a week. But they actually even show a 22% reduction if you even just went in two times a week. So, I mean, and that's cardiovascular. That's that's cardiovascular. That's just cardiovascular. Yes. Um, there's a ton of studies that what it help that it does help with dementia and Alzheimer's and sounds like Finland is like really the place to I mean they've studied it a lot more than we have here and long for a yeah. long period of time yeah because if you look at studies here's it's not as it's not as good but it again it's not as utilized here in the U.S. Mm-hmm. and then I think again with fitness I think if you take everything that's offered and so I think when something becomes very popular people almost either take it one way they try it and it's a trend or they don't try it and they assume it doesn't work because it's a trend Mm -hmm. but i think that this has been around it has been studied Mm -hmm. and if you're working out already and you're doing all the other things adding infrared which has known benefit and no adverse right you know there's no um there's no side there's no toxicity nothing bad that comes from being exposed to infrared no, the only thing I saw online anywhere, any contraindication was pregnancy. Yes. No, we cannot. You can, we can, can't. Yeah. Because it can be negative in utero, potentially. Correct. Right. But even that, it didn't seem I don't know super strong. And I don't know if there's any, but I think that the theory behind it, and you may know. No, it's just okay. You never yeah. be able to know. Where you're pregnant, yeah. that's it. You could have your own infrared. No. Right. For, yeah. And, and I think the theory for us is um, they, because it does heat you from the inside, it heats the baby, it heats the, I read some like potential hypothermia effects in utero from the extreme. Yeah. 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 Um, it's just not, yeah, we're just, it. yeah. Was, and then I read one thing on yeah. breastfeeding that was like, if you're breastfeeding just after you are in the sauna, pump and dump. Okay. Yeah. Before you breastfeed again, just in case there are any toxicities that you're getting out from the benefits of the detox. But even that wasn't anything super solid. But like Dr. Durr said, when you're pregnant, you can't do anything. I broke it. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, not only can you not do anything, but no one's allowed to do anything to you. Exactly. To want it for you. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, when you're pregnant, just, yeah. Yeah. Everything's safe. You just need to shut your hand. The pregnant is hard enough. Yeah. Don't do anything. 
Um, I know they were also saying that like the heat also in the next exercise because it increases your heart rate, it gets your blood going. So even if you're just starting out with exercise or you need to do something and, and it's hard for you to get going, like just coming and sitting and getting your heart going and getting used to that kind of, you know, it pumping harder and being in the heat and kind of getting your cardiovascular up is a good, you know, stepping stone for people that are looking to just get started but don't really, aren't really into working out and doing stuff but they need to do it for heart health and and a good point Mm -hmm. because what i was seeing is like the other side was the fitness guys and girls that were doing it to extend their workout yes Mm -hmm. so obviously working out in a sauna is but even working out and then going into the sauna after to extend that workout period and it can decrease lactic acid and stuff like that so it'll help with recovery and less soreness after a workout yeah yeah so it only makes sense to do them again yeah when i did see some studies that I mean, they were small, but increased endurance, like for um, for the patients that were actually using sauna versus not. Mm-hmm. So again, that would um, at least speak volumes to people that are in the fitness industry. They can increase endurance. But I think even from the standpoint, because even learning the lasers in the office, like when we're talking about the electromagnetic spectrum, just so people don't get scared of or ever hear it's radiation, because I think people will try. There's always that fear factor out there, no matter what. And if you go into Google, there's a rabbit hole that you're going down and you don't know what's true and what's not true. But the bottom line is that like a wavelength or frequency is like cycles per second. And so... When you are on one side of the electromagnetic spectrum, like gamma rays or X-rays, those are dangerous, but they're high frequency. And then the longer wavelengths, the lower frequency are not. And so that's when you're talking about infrared radio waves being the extreme and microwaves being in between. So even people, I've been told by my mother for years that microwaves were dangerous. I've been told that. But don't stand in front. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't stand in front. That's like a myth. And, you know, so again, infrared is not microwaves next and um, radio waves are after that. So again, those are not dangerous ends of the spectrum. They're safe ends of the spectrum. So just to clarify that, because I think as I read or educate on something that I have misunderstood, I believe to be true That's for true. a lifetime, yeah. find out it's not true at all. Yeah. So there's no adverse effects to it except for, you know, what Faraday said is potentially pregnancy or, you know, um, they're saving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was really interesting is that I saw a whole thing on the increase in human growth hormone with infrared sauna. So we talk a lot about hormones and hormone optimization and peptides to help with um, growth hormone because we all want to be as young as we can forever. Thank you. <laughs> um, but there were studies even showing like just two 20 minute sessions can increase growth hormone by like five to six times. Yeah. Like just even one like session, day session or one 60 minute session was had like a 16% increase. Mm-hmm. It was something ridiculous. Yeah. Do you guys, was that a Fenler one too? Well, all that seems to come out of Finland. I mean, there are so many yeah. studies out of Finland. They really are. I can't remember where that one came from. Um, I just made a little side note of it because it was the first time I'd seen the growth hormone because there's so much about how it benefits our hormones as well and growth hormones specifically, which is interesting because we see so many patients that want to naturally improve their growth hormone. When it's been a known fact that like sleep and sweating does, so it only makes sense that if you're sweating that it would increase, but I didn't have a number affiliated with that. So that's awesome. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Um, we did just a little, not, not a study, but just a little survey, I would say, of all of our members around in our three Knoxville locations, asking what they felt their, like what their biggest benefit was. You know, was it when you lost weight? Was it that you have less inflammation? Was it that you sleep better? And hands down, it was stress reduction. So you know, just, I think just being able to detach yourself, being able to sleep better, being at all of those things lean to stress reduction. So, you know, obviously infrared doesn't make you less stressed, but it makes you all the other things so much better that you feel less stressed, which is, you know, also an aging thing, which, and along, yeah. With, yeah. And along with that, the better sleeping at night. Yeah. So that was kind of the second thing that so bald with that, which can make that a study. Yeah. And like, no, they, they, well, you know, a thin land. So yeah, we did a survey and we got, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah and you would say you'd be like weight loss, but it's really the number one was stress reduction and sleeping better at night. 
Yeah. So, well, that doesn't surprise me much because, again, that's why I got addicted to heat early on just from, you know, yoga. And I couldn't do yoga without the heat Mm -hmm. because you get used to it. And again, that was without benefits of infrared. But you are so much more relaxed after. If I go and I'm sitting in a sauna, period. I'm more relaxed. Yes. It completely makes sense that you're working out and how all the benefits and then the emperor release those and has. Yes, you know, it, and I think along with that too is when you're in the sauna um, with that infrared, it's the, the breathing, the air quality. The breathing is so easy in those saunas because it's such the dry heat. So the, and, and that goes along with the relaxation and the stress reduction, I think too. It's just the breathing is so much easier to do in the saunas. So, so talk for a couple minutes about that because I wasn't, I, I don't think I realized there's so many things going on in your learning when you're first coming into a studio and, you know, there's codes and there's workouts and apps and, and maths. And, 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 and then again, like just working out and then, you know, um, but the, I don't think I realized that it was completely mm-hmm. in yeah, dry so, heat too. Yeah, it is. So it's like um, traditional hot yoga. Typically, they run at about forty percent humidity. Okay. So that's a lot of where you get that heat and sweatiness from is that humidity and that temperature that's in a hot yoga room. Um, in the infrared saunas, they want you to feel like you're in Vegas in the middle of July, and you can just breathe. You can breathe deep. You can. Um, you know, it's just a, the quality of air is mm-hmm. completely different compared to humidity, which we all know well. Oh yeah, living in yeah. Tennessee. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and that that plays a huge role in your breathing techniques when you're in the saunas doing those workouts. I could see that. What do you guys typically run your saunas at? So there is also a lot on duration of time yeah. and temperature, like best temperatures for the best benefits, because you're talking about the calming, right. and there were studies on how it affects sympathetic and parasympathetic systems on how it affects the parasympathetic, mm-hmm. so we can feel vigorated but then calm at the same time yes yeah so um i know we run ours at 1 30. um the reason we run it at 1 30 is because we're infrared i know a lot of saunas like just your typical saunas they'll they'll get up to like 160. and i think that um but we we say anywhere between 125 and 130 is optimal for for us not everybody does that not everybody can withstand that heat and that's fine i think you work your way up to it but really i think we get our biggest benefits at, at 125 130 we don't go over 130 within the red how long are the classes to 30 minutes so you have um iso isometrics are 30 minutes and that's more of like a um you know you've got your yoga warrior pilates and you're really holding poses and it's not very cardiovascular you do get your heart rate up depending because of the heat and holding poses and you hold them for a long time and sometimes you're like oh, okay hey me do this like you <laughs> we've been there yeah <laughs> i'm ready to let you know so you kind of you're definitely working um but then the hit workouts which are the high intensity interval trainings are 15 minutes and they're really closer to about 13 and a half um we run them every 15 but those are you can make them as intense as you want or as less as you want but if you are really working it you are getting your heart rate up there you are really burning calories i mean and you don't want to do that for more than 15 minutes in there so exactly. it's two different workouts it really depends on if you're very cardiovascular motivated or if you're just more maybe strength muscle building um you know we also do have an fx zone in the back of the sauna or in the back of the studio um that is just free weights and rogue racks and stuff like that so you know you can cut you can still mix it up and while still using the benefits of the infrared and once people get so to interesting too, they, sometimes they pair them up. So they'll do mm-hmm. a hit workout and then go into an isometric. Mm-hmm. So they kind of get their heart rate up more and then they go into that yoga session. Or rent the room. Or rent the room. room. <laughs> rent the room and do, and do their own one. Yeah, or two. Lifting, go back. And, and then, yeah, and then relax. Exactly. I will say that it was much easier to breathe, like, so, or it didn't feel as hot. Mm-hmm. So that was the first thing that I had mentioned coming back to the office after my first workout is that it didn't feel crazy yeah, yeah it did like at 1 30 it didn't feel like 1 30 right yeah normally would feel like in yoga when they do the really hot series and 125 and yeah. hot and steamy and so i loved that because yeah. it was all the heat but it wasn't as intense yeah i thought it was going to be with it it was great perfect um, and that's just lack of humidity and really so that it's you know it's when all that makes sense yeah and i'm like and i'm sure that was all of part of the information obtained that you know there was just all this one yeah there's we're learning and yet we get lots to learn and unfortunately there's a lot of misconceptions but there's also just a lot of are not educated not being educated on it because yes a lot of those studies took place in finland we're not really getting them here 
Um, and people just are like, oh, infrared, like, it must be bad. Um, but I was surprised. Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised when I put in studies how many yeah. came up and how long of a time frame they have spanned for. Yes. So like Dr. saying, it's been around for so long. In this country, we do a very good job of a Band-Aid, right? Mm -hmm. We talk a lot about the difference between functional and traditional medicine. Yes. We're really good at putting Band-Aids on people. But to get to root cause and overall health mm -hmm. and prevention, we don't do as great of a job. Where we're seeking out functional medicine, looking for more options. Just as a testimony to how it works, um, one of our managers actually was on four blood pressure medicines, which I was like, I didn't know you could even do that, but they were four. She was on four, and so she's doing regulator can never take them up. Yet that she's come off of two of them now from hot works, and she thought I came off. She might have, but yeah, it was first for herself. Yeah. So, um, but you know, it's just coming off of the, that's like taking the band aid off, you know, and actually getting to the root of the problem. She probably did just pull herself off, but her blood pressure is better. And she's like, I don't need all, you know. Yes. So exactly. that's the one. I just am like, we're, I'm always kind of anti traditional medicine here, and you just don't know that part of it. Um, but like, again, we're taught to, put people on medicines but not take people. And then when they have side effects, that's another medicine to yeah. combat that side effect. Yeah. Yeah. And then more medicine and more medicine. And so sometimes I feel like it's the patient almost noticing a blood pressure drop and yes. slowly they're coming off of. But, you know, I mean, it's not really true that they never take them off if they don't need and they have the benefits of infrared mm -hmm. and their blood pressure stopping, they would. But yeah. again, normally in traditional medicine, which is why we are not the traditional route is that we put people on medicine. We wait for something to happen, a disease to happen. We put yeah. patients on a medicine with no intent to ever take it. Off. Correct. Yeah. And, and so it's wonderful that mm -hmm. there's benefits. And again, way back, I learned the benefits of infrared. So I ended up getting a sauna here. Mm -hmm. It's just not very big. Right. So I go in it primarily just to sit and can't rent the room. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The room and yeah. detox. But you can't work out in it. It's not big enough. So this is awesome. So. Yeah. Why well, appreciate you guys. Is there anything you think that we need to cover yet? Or anything that you guys know? Any fun facts that you came with? Or anything <laughs> that we haven't covered yet? I think the big thing for me, the big selling point, and I didn't know it at first. I knew I love the heat and the workout combination. It was interested, but the 24 hour mm -hmm. and infrared is like, a just, it's a phenomenal. Mm -hmm you know, concept working out, 24 hours, infrared, multiple different workouts. I didn't even know all the details. Yeah. So, and then all the health benefits. It's definitely yeah. something you need to check out for sure. And you get a, your first week, your first workout is always free. Yeah. There you come and try. So no excuses. Yeah. No excuses at all. So at all. Come and try it. The studio is beautiful. And again, get in there and get a workout. And, and then you'll know how good you feel. And so it is a fabulous idea. I'm addicted now. And I said, and we'll be in. Exactly. So basically, thank you guys for coming on. I yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And thank you. Yes. If you haven't tried Hotworks, definitely try it. If you have had an experience with Hotworks and want to share it, um, let us know or just infrared in general and how you felt better. Please share in the comments, like, subscribe, share with friends, hit the bell, hit the bell, all the things, and definitely try out Hotworks for your infrared workout. And again, we're here to revitalize your look, your health, and your sex life. Thank you.